Hey there, I'm Kato. Over the next two months, I will be visiting all the 50 states in America and having a hamburger or a variation of a hamburger while I'm in each state. I have already visited four states. If you have not seen those videos, make sure you check them out. Today, I will be visiting Wisconsin. So let's get this journey started. I'm in Glendale, Wisconsin, and it is a, it is right next to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and there is a restaurant here by the name of Solly's Grill. Uh, this place has been open since 1936, and they have been selling burgers since 1936, and they're famous for their butter burgers. I just had the butter burger at Solly's Grill. This place, uh, it is a really small place. I would say there are maybe 15 to uh, 20 seats. Simple burger, there is not a whole lot on it. They have a lot of different variations of the burger. Uh, you can get different toppings. But the original Sally's butter burger comes with the bread, the on, uh, car caramelized onions, and also butter. So that is the burger I tried over here. And the meat is cooked. The meat is cooked right in front of you. So that is always a good sign. And I always love when they're cooking right in front of you because you are constantly smelling the new burgers being cooked. Next up, the burger. The bread was good. Uh, the meat is fresh, and it, it's it's all about the butter. This burger is all about the butter. Buttery. It is dripping with butter. Uh, car caramelized onions, and also. When you are in. Wisconsin. It doesn't matter if it's the middle of winter, it is freezing cold, it is snowing, you have to try the frozen custard. The difference between a frozen custard and ice cream is frozen custard has egg yolk inside of it while the ice cream does not. One of the famous place to get a frozen custard is Leon's. So, so I'm gonna try the vanilla first because the other ones are, he said are a little bit stronger. Oh yeah. Yeah there's egg yolk you can taste the egg yolk too yeah yeah. And then this one is one of our popular flavors. It's butter pecan. All right, so butter pecan is the most is one of the popular. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you like it? Oh yeah. The, better? No, no. Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah, the that's the. I'm oh, definitely I'm getting this one. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah, it's like dark chocolate. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit it's bitter, like dark chocolate. This one is our cinnamon. It's cinnamon. Like, it's really popular in like the holidays. Like, okay. Like, Alright, so this is a cinnamon and uh, it's uh, popular during the holidays. Oh yeah. 
Uh, I got cinnamon and a butter pecan. Made fresh, like they're like making it fresh right in front of you. Let's try the, the butter pecan. Oh yeah. So when you first eat it, you don't t it has like a plain flavor but once you like wait and your taste buds they take in the flavor you you taste the butter and then you get the fresh pecans let's try the cinnamon oh yeah both butter pecan and cinnamon it's they in, when you first taste it they taste the same they taste like plain but when you after like a few seconds like one or two seconds later wait and your taste buds they take in the flavor we're headed to a place to try cheese curds I just tried the cheese curds at black sheep the cheese curds were fresh the cheese was salty and the batter and then plus they served it with maple syrup kind of like a mozzarella stick or cheese sticks the breading on these cheese curds was very different than a cheese stick on the corner of water street and st paul avenue is milwaukee public market tried the deep fried cheese curds so it only made sense to try the original cheese curds uh, what are cheese curds cheese curds are squeaky fresh cheese cheddar cheese in its natural random shape before being made into block of cheddar so this is what they look like uh, it has like a random random shape uh, and they're they're all like different shapes and sizes uh, they are they're squishy uh, I think they're still cold so I don't hear a squeaky noise uh, you, they have to be a little bit warm and then they make a squeaky noise um, but let's let's try this Taste fresh. Not squeaky, like I don't know exactly if it's supposed to make a squeaky noise, but uh it is like squishy, like like spongy almost like you know it's tastes like cheddar cheese. It tastes fresh and little little bit salty, not too much salt. My time in Wisconsin, the fifth state, has come to an end. It was fun, cold, but fun. Now, on to the next one. Till next time. Yeah. But it doesn't taste like cheese though.